you know, I just think that, you know, when you're misinformed or you're not educated about something, um, and, and I'm just talking about, um, you know, the tweet itself, you know, you never know the ramifications that can happen. Um, and, um, you know, we all seen what that did. Um, not only did um, for our league, um, but for all of us in America, uh, for people um, in China as well. And sometimes you have to think through uh, things that you say that may cause harm, not only for yourself, but for, for, for the majority of people. And um, I think that's just a prime example of that. LeBron James and other NBA personnel are on their worldwide apology tour on behalf of China. Welcome back, Andrew says, I wouldn't lie to you, except for maybe this once. The Houston Rockets, it's coach Steve Kerr, and now LeBron James are busy effectively saying that China is better than America. You can criticize America all you want, but you can't criticize China because it will cost people money. Now LeBron, who's been so vocal about everything from police to racism to Donald Trump, is saying, don't talk about China. This is going to hurt people. And now it's clear that if someone doesn't disagree with, or someone disagrees with LeBron, it's because they're uneducated. Those are his words. Before it was Trump supporters in Ohio that weren't educated. Now it's anyone who has a problem with China. Now remember, this is the tweet. This is the tweet that LeBron has a problem with. And if you think I'm taking any of his viewpoints out of context, let LeBron's own tweets clarify it for you. Let me clear up the confusion. I do not believe there is any consideration for the consequences and ramifications of this tweet. I'm not discussing the substance. Others can talk about that. My team in this league just went through a difficult week. I think people need to understand what a tweet or statement can do to others. And I believe nobody stopped and considered what would happen. Could have waited a week to send it. Now for LeBron James to say people need to stop and think about things before they say them or before they tweet them, to me is incredibly hypocritical. Maybe he does stop and think about them before he says it, and he just doesn't care because he thinks he's right anyways. If you recall, he called the Bull, former Bulls coach Phil Jackson racist for saying that he had a posse, when Phil Jackson is the person who coached the Chicago Bulls to multiple championships with Scottie Pippen, with Michael Jordan, and with Dennis Rodman, who's a very troublesome player, and he put up with that. You know, for me, we see the success that we had, but then there, then there is always someone that uh, lets you know how still how far we still have to go as African Americans, you know, and um, I just don't believe that Phil Jackson would have used that same term if um, he was doing business with someone else, um, you know, and, and uh, you know, working with another team or if he was uh, working with anybody in sports that was owning a team that wasn't African American and they had a group of guys around him that he didn't agree with what they did, I don't think he would have called him a posse. Um, you know, but it just shows how far we still have to go. And, uh, you know, but it won't stop us uh, from doing what we need to do as a group. Now, LeBron doesn't want to talk about the substance either because he doesn't care or he doesn't know anything about it. All he knows is that you oppose his opinion and you are wrong because you're costing him money. Now, if you recall, Fox News host Laura Ingraham asked if LeBron should not talk about politics at all. And it was stemming from the Trump shut up and dribble thing. Now, it's essentially LeBron saying to others to shut up and dribble. Why? Because you're costing him money. And you can't do that to LeBron James. It's cool for him to say negative things while taking money from China, from Nike, uh, which is obviously made in China. And he's not going there for free, people. The NBA is not going over to China to play games for free. But in LeBron's free country, he's free to say whatever he wants. And a lot of the times it's negative about the country and its culture. And people agree with him, boost his bottom line, because that's a popular thing to do in the United States because it's a free country. But that's not how it is in China. So if someone disagrees with him and it doesn't make him more popular, well, that's a problem. Now, I'm not saying I dislike LeBron James, just like I don't dislike controversial UFC fighter John Jones for some of the same reasons. John Jones had steroid problems. He had uh, outside of the octagon drug problems. He had legal problems. And just like John, John Jones in the UFC, at some point the jig is up. The squeaky clean character of I'm innocent of everything and I'm fair and I'm believable. The jig becomes up at some point. People can tell when you're just faking a personality, uh, pretending to have beliefs or concrete ethics whenever it suits you financially, whenever it benefits you most. You pretend to be this amazing guy. It's the same thing with LeBron James. Uh, for me and my teammates, we were just hoping that, that the game will, will continue to go. Um, you know, so many different events have been uh, canceled throughout our time over there. 
Um, and all we kept saying is, I mean, shit, we, we, we flew all these miles to come over to China. We would love to play the game of basketball in front of from the fans. And, and that was our whole mind, to be able to prepare ourselves mentally. Coach kept harping on, okay, let's prepare ourselves. We had a practice the day before that. Let's prepare ourselves as we were playing. And we were just hoping that the game wouldn't get canceled because we wanted to play. Right. So LeBron just believes that he should be able to play. He and the other players should be able to play without controversy. That's fair enough. But where are those thoughts when you're saying – America is really it's still a tough place to play for a black man, even if you're LeBron James. Just because of my skin color, it's a tough place for me to be. LeBron has no problem saying that. But for the people of Hong Kong, they don't have a right to be heard. They don't have a right to be spoken out in favor of. I don't think there's anybody LeBron James would come down upon for saying the things he said about America. But you say it about a communist, super verifiably worse country in China. And LeBron is a problem about that with this. He doesn't care about the other players, he cares about LeBron James, and he has every right to feel that way. But when LeBron, Je LeBron James says controversial things, it's great. When other people do it, they're not thinking of the consequences, and they're misinformed. Do you understand now? Do you understand how it is? Now I challenge you to name an athlete in the last 30 years as hypocritical as LeBron James, a, a superstar athlete, not Michael Jordan, Wayne Gretzky, Sidney Crosby, Kobe Bryant, David Beckham, Derek Jeter, the list goes on and on. And notice that I'm not putting Colin Kaepernick in there. Of course, he's not good enough to be on that list. Nobody in such spotlight has been as hypocritical as LeBron James, maybe John Jones. Um, and we, always talk, we, we all talk about this freedom of speech. Yes, we all do have freedom of speech, but at times there are ramifications for the negative that can happen. Um, when you're not thinking about others and only on you only thinking about yourself so um i don't believe um i don't want to get into a, a word a, a word or sentence uh feud with daryl um but daryl uh moray but i believe he wasn't educated on, on on the situation at hand and um and he spoke and uh, the, so many people uh could have been harmed um, not only financially but physically emotionally spiritually um so just be careful what we what we tweet and we say and what we do even though, yes, we do have freedom of speech, but there can be um, a lot of negative that comes with that, too. Now, if that's not complete and utter social justice nonsense, I don't know what is. He tweeted a picture saying to support Hong Kong, that's it. And then he apologized afterwards because of everything that happened. That's putting people in harm's way, LeBron, literally, physically, spiritually, and emotionally. Please. That's all I have to say to that is, please, what are you talking about? It's the most ridiculous social justice dogma saying that words are forms of violence. Like when people say misgendering somebody is a form of violence. Words are not violence, LeBron James. I don't believe that you believe that. I just don't. I'm sorry. That's just my belief. I don't know. That's my belief. Um, um, that's all I can say. I, I believe he was either misinformed or not really educated on the situation. Um, and if he was... Um, then, then so be it. Um, but I have no idea. But that's just my belief. Um, um, because just when you um, when you say things or do things, um, if you're doing it, um, and you know the people that can be affected by it, um, and and the, the families and the individuals and everyone that can be affected by it, sometimes things can be um, um, can be changed as well. And also sometimes uh, social media is not always the the proper way to go about things as well. Um, so. Um, but that's just my belief. So here's LeBron saying he doesn't know if he was educated on the topic or not. The person who tweeted out, the general manager of the Houston Rockets. That's just his belief. I don't know if you were, I can't prove that you're uneducated on the topic, but it's just my belief. Which, of course, is not an argument. So if your beliefs cost someone money, then don't say it, says LeBron James. Further proving, not all opinions are valid. Thank you for the wise words, LeBron. I really thank you. I don't dislike you. I just think you're misinformed. That's just my opinion. I can't prove that you're misinformed. I have no actual argument for being misinformed on this topic. It's just my belief. Maybe I should just shut up then. I don't want to cost you any money. Do you see where this is going? It's insane. It's not an argument. It's what, when somebody says, that's just my opinion, uh, and maybe that's just somebody else's opinion, someone else's perspective, it usually happens when they can't prove their own point. You need to have evidence to prove a point. You can't just fall back on, that's just my opinion. It's called being logically consistent. Say what you believe, who cares? As long as it doesn't cost me money, that's fine. If you believe in freedom of speech, please consider contributing to my Patreon, just $1 a month. I wouldn't lie to you, except for maybe this once. Or maybe that's just my belief. Don't cost me money for your beliefs, okay? Your beliefs aren't worth my money.